to you're getting more your right track IR and you look to the you left and your, your ship actually to moves to the left as you're looking along with your gimbaled aim, then it might, you know, kind of sort of be an unfair advantage. Or alternatively, you would be on the same level as a keyboard and mouse player if that were the case. Honestly, that sounds more annoying than helpful. I don't use the... I don't use the tracker IR to, for my gimbal anyway, just because it is very difficult to fly the ship and try to track your weapons with your head. Um, it's just right. more difficult. I right, don't use that's gimbals. my point. Well, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm going to use Arma as an example. When you're dogfighting, you can move your head to visually with your own eyes, not with computer assisted, track your target and see, see what his flight is. Or somebody without track IR is, is restricted to a... 180 degree view straight ahead. Rob 8S. And that's the going thing, right? In, in a well. dogfight, you night, never Rob. look where you're going. You're always looking at, you know, your your foe, and you're always trying to set yourself up to get behind them. I mean, you right. have, track, you right. have your track IR too. gives you an advantage over that too. It's not. It's not so much as an advantage. It brings a level of immersion. If you were flying in a jet for real, you would well, be no, looking no, to I, the left or right. I'm not. I'm just saying, could this be like another argument because there are going to be a lot of whiners out there? No, it's, 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 it's still fair IR. with track IR. Yeah. It, someone who doesn't have track IR and is too Tracker. stupid to use the key to look around is gonna fucking lose to you pretty much every time if you're looking around with track IR. It gives you so much more situational awareness. If you're looking just directly forward, like driving without looking at your mirror, to me, you'd be fucked, right? I would say, I would put it like this. I would consider unfair the only visual tracking they had was like the Oculus Rift was like four or five hundred dollars so far on the price range. But when you can pick up a tracker IR for less than a hundred dollars if you look around, then I don't see it as much of an advantage. There's no reason not to. And at the same rate, isn't, I don't know if it's in this game, but most games have a key you just press, and if you're locked on, someone tracks them for you. This has a, this has a target lock. Well, yeah, but does it then lock your camera to them? I don't know, I haven't tried it. I've, I've always yeah. found target locking to be a nuisance. Does it does it block your gimbaled weapon onto the target? I believe I it does. Think... I don't know. Jesus. I don't have a problem putting big ass guns on my wings and just flying old school. That doesn't really bother me. But that's what I'm gonna be. Oh, I don't know. When I actually can get my joystick working, I'll I fuck around with it for a month or so, figuring out what I like better. If I like tr try my hand at. You know, shooting and gunning and flying all separately, or if I just want to say fuck it and just load the biggest guns I can. <laughs> well, like, when, before, uh, I'm having to do this friggin' 16 hour download now, but before I had to do the download, man, I would, because I'm not the best pilot in the world, but I love flying really fast and really close to shit, so that's all I practiced was flying really close to shit, flying, you know, there's a one asteroid that's kind of got like a diamond shaped hole in it, and I would go in there and park, and I would do all that close. Uh, proximity flying because that's going to be my saving grace is trying to get a dumbass to eat an asteroid. I, I will say from previous experience, no one will ever follow you that close. They'll simply sit off and wait for you to crash or wait for a gun solution. That, that, that's the only well, with, with a new system though, if you fly between an asteroid, you, use, you, you lose the lock. Well, yeah, yeah, sure, you, you lose the lock, but if you're talking just like staying near an asteroid or near some train, if I'm the guy chasing you, I'm just not going to follow the train. I'll just sit above, up above it, take turn wide or whatever around. Yeah, but you're also taking time to learn how to fly now. How many people are actually doing that? Oh, I mean, sure, there's going to be lots of idiots who are actually going to try and sit very on your sick, thinking that's the best thing to do, and it's really not. Right, so that's, that's the people I'm planning for. Yeah. It's just how, how many people are going to do that, I wonder. A lot. Because they're used that. to playing Call of Duty and getting right on their ass, flying those damn jets and ejecting and falling and getting back into the jet. Wait, they have you jets in Call of Duty now? But I even play War Thunder. Yeah, modern Arcadia Warfare, Thunder. whatever the hell it is. Battlefield, I guess you're talking about. I, play yeah, Battlefield, so I, Battlefield. I used to play War Thunder, at least. Airplanes and... Most people in that are pretty fucking stupid, and they won't do, do that. They'll just sit above you and wait for you to kill yourself or... Um, just, they'll just sit in a trail position and just wait for you to fuck up and pull out and they just kill you. Be in that game are generally pretty dumb. Flying train is really only useful if you're trying to break radar lock. Or trying to, you know, sit off the radar. 
Well, uh, the, there's a, see, I have the stealth hornet, but uh, Ben made the comment that you'll be able to stealth out any ship. And so if I can get a... Uh, a I don't know, that's really weird. I wonder how their stealth is really going to work, because he made the comment that if you have a single jump, jump drive, that you're going to put off almost no signature, but if you have a multiple jump, jump drive, then when you re-enter normal space, you're going to have a hell of a signal burst. That's weird. I've never heard of ever, ever talking about multiple jump drives or single jump drive. I don't know what that yeah, I think means. it was either on a Vibe for Ben Lesnick, or it was on one of the, um, Around the verses, but he said that ships were gonna have multiple jumps, or maybe it was one of the devs' videos. But yeah, every, every ship, depending on the ship or depending on the jump drive, is gonna be your re-entry signature. So, like, say, like a small ship, if you have like a one jump jump drive before you have to recharge it, you're gonna have a less of an entry signature. But if you have like one where you can jump, 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 then you're gonna have a larger entry signature. Hmm, that's interesting. It kind of makes sense that, you know, jumping in would put off a bit of a signature, but... Yeah, like, in, in the end, the Hornet Goat is really just a normal Hornet that has that, all the extra shit thrown on it, and then probably a cool paint job. 